we'll just move on to, I guess, my favorite song of the episode. Uh, my favorite song of the episode is by this female rapper slash singer. Uh, her name is Hayes, featuring my boy Dean with their song And July. about Dean is like the more I look at him the less attractive he becomes like I used to I used to think yeah. he was I used to think he was so like so attractive but like so many got people, in your head man but no not just you so many uh, people of so many people I've talked to that I've like been talking about why, Dean why are you just talking about how good looking Dean is no, 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 like, I've, multiple I've, people I mean yeah, I've been promoting a podcast to people and um, that's, a lot. that's like two that's people that's not true at least it's better than none you're right. Yeah. None of my friends give a shit about K-pop. And I was talking about Dean, and then everybody, uh, foreign, I talked to some like non-Korean people and Korean people, and all of them were just like, yeah, I guess he's handsome. Everybody kind of has their own taste, and I was like, what? Is it just me? And so I think it's just me. I mean, he's definitely a handsome dude. He's just not, yeah. he wasn't like the god of handsome face that no, you like definitely not. perpetuated yeah. when you first saw him. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, speaking of good looking Dean. Yeah. Uh, now he, uh, this is technically an Hayes song. Yeah. And she worked with Dean previously on a Shut Up and Groove. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a song that I didn't super, super like the first time we heard it. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked a lot about how the backing track during the chorus was like really busy. Yeah. And it felt like a lot of weird stuff's going on. The layering wasn't quite right. Yeah. yeah. But the more I listened to that song, the less that... Again, maybe it's because I'm getting more used to it, but the less that mattered to me, and I actually yeah. really did end up enjoying uh, that song quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'm in the same boat as you. It definitely, for me, kind of got less noisy when I could kind of isolate the things that I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this song, I think, uh, compared to that song, uh, I like this song almost initially when I heard it. Mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it starts off with this kind of, like, you know, just DJ messing around on the track, and it's a sample, obviously. And it really, really reminds me of like something DJ Premier would do. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with him, but he's a very famous American DJ. Uh, you know, he's part of Gangstar. If you don't know who they are, but if you do know DJ Premier, when I mention him, you will go, "Oh yeah, definitely his style." Yeah, but uh, oh yeah, yeah. DJ but Premier. there was a My DJ boy. who did work on this song. His name is DJ Frizz. Uh, I think he did some stuff with like Dynamic Duo also. Like Dynamic Duo kind of has that sound as well, but. For me, I think this is a perfect kind of R&B hip-hop duet. And it's so much better that there's a guy and a girl rather than just two guys or, you know, one singer and one rapper. Um, because, you know, Hayes does rap in this, but she does, I think, more singing than rapping. Um, yeah, I mean, she raps a tiny... It's like 90% singing yeah. um, by Hayes. Yeah, and I, and I really like that because uh, there's a lot of back and forth between, you know, like, Dean and Hayes, and I think that's it really, really works well with a duet. Mm. And so, this is kind of like really like a head bumper, and but you're not a real big fan of the Hayes rapping, right? So, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, luckily, it's very short, yeah. 
Um, but I just, I like we mentioned the last time we talked about Hayes, which was that as a rapper, she was like nothing. Mm -hmm. She was like nothing special. You know, she was an unpretty rap star too. Mm -hmm. She had a couple of songs after that or featuring with other people. And she was like, eh. um, and we talked about how there weren't many female R and B singers. And, mm -hmm. and I think Hayes is a much, much, much better, uh, as a singer, singer yeah. um, especially, uh, paired up with Dean. Yeah. I think they work very well together um i don't like this song as much as shut up and groove but again as is the theme with a lot of these kind of sevens and six songs to mm -hmm. me is like uh I, I think i need to hear them more and yeah. if i hear them more sometimes they get better sometimes they get worse, worse. yeah because um, sometimes a six or a seven can turn into like an eight even a nine yeah. right and sometimes you will hear a song and it'll be like an eight and nine for you and then it'll drop to a six or seven. So yeah. like I think a good see. kind of comparison is that you really like I mean I like them too, but you definitely like the more like R and B. I really do. That that is less poppy. Mm. Um so there sometimes there's some like uh crush songs or Zion T especially mm -hmm. where I it's just I like catchiness and I mm -hmm. like more poppy stuff and mm -hmm. so i think that's why i like shut up and groove more because shut up and groove more is much more i think mainstreamy yeah um especially since like this song it, it does have a dj and kind of a more hip-hop backing track with like you know a drum kit and you know turntables and things like that and shut up and groove was more of kind of i wouldn't say orchestral but there definitely were less hip-hop elements in it and more kind of pop stylings yeah yeah, yeah. and that's i think that's another reason why like you know, I, I really think Dean has a great voice, but I'm not so hype on like his mm. solo stuff as much as you, mm. uh, because uh, it's just not, you know, you know, you know, I like mm. me some catchy, catchy choruses. So and Dean's not really that dude. So Dean has come out with a few duets, obviously two with Hayes and one with Taeyeon, like compared. I don't call the one with Taeyeon a duet. But uh, in reference to those and his solo stuff, you like his duets more or do you like his solo Wait, stuff more? Which one was? Oh, it was Starlight. Yeah. That one is more of a duet. I was yeah. sorry. I was thinking uh, Crush, Crush and uh, Taeyeon. Yeah. And I was like, that ain't a duet. Okay. Um, which one do I like more? Yeah. If you, if you had to batch the, the duets together and the solo stuff together. Because, you know, you and I, we talk about how some some singers... We really, really like them more as featuring artists rather than solo singers. Uh, yeah. Like a good example would be like Ailey. I think we like Ailey as a mm -hmm. as more as a kind of featured singer rather than a solo artist. The thing with Ailey, though, it's it. I think at one point that was true. Yeah. Um, but nowadays I think of Ailey more as a solo artist. Mm. Um, but not any of her new stuff. Kind of like the mm. the, the original Older, kind of stuff. Yeah. Because she hasn't even really been featured in a lot of stuff. Yeah. She used to be featured in like a lot of like R&B-ish type tracks like that Pro C uh, song. But that doesn't happen anymore. I don't even know where Ailey has been. Yeah, I hope she released something new. Anyways, back um, to the original question. Back to the original. So, Solo artist or featuring artist? I think I would in theory like Dean Moore as a, like a duet. Mm. Um, but so far the duets that have happened haven't been like knocking it out of the park for mm -hmm. me personally right. i actually think my favorite dean song is his first one which i can't yeah. even remember the name of his first one dean song pour up pour up yeah. yes i think that's actually my favorite dean song i ha honestly i haven't listened to it in a while but right. i remember at the time like i was m way more hype about that song than any of his other releases and you know what's funny when we i think when we first heard that song you liked that song more than me i did yeah. yes yes um oh, may yeah, interesting hmm. Maybe I need to listen to that song again. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, let's, I guess let's talk about the music video. So the music video uh, is this kind of like Mr. and Mrs. Jonesy. Uh, it's this couple who love each other, but they really, really hate each other. So they're kind of doing all these really petty and passive aggressive things, you know, like pouring salt into each other's cereal, spitting in their coffee, uh, like, you know, using a toothbrush to kind of wash their shoes, things like that. Right. Hash, hashtag relationship. Yeah. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag goals. Yeah. Right. Um, but I, I think it's really kind of funny. Uh, yeah. It's a really good video. Uh, you should check it out. There's a lot of kind of good use of props and I think colors. But the shocking twist that we found at the end of the music video is that this was produced by none other than DigiPetty. And DigiPetty, uh, this even I had a kind of, uh, not really an argument, but a conversation about, 
what we think makes a DigiPetty video a DigiPetty video. But needless to say, when we saw this, it did not scream DigiPetty to us. Yes. Yeah. But to be clear, DigiPetty, they're not producers. They're, oh, they're music no, they're video. They're directors. Directors, we'll say. Um, and I, I just say that because maybe you don't know what DigiPetty is, but mm -hmm. they direct music videos. Mm -hmm. um, they have nothing to do with the uh, music production of, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. of the song. Um, but, you know, DigiPetty, we talk about them a lot, but... You know, what other music videos do they make, Josh? Yeah. Uh, I mean, they've made a lot of music videos, but mainly kind of uh, the famous one that a lot of people remember is uh, EXID's Up and Down. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, things like... Uh, They're like Fiesta, Fiesta or One More. Yeah, Fiesta Recently, One More. Recently, they did... I th We think... I'm pretty sure they did Oh My Mind by, by Minx. Um, it's Mix. Not mix. mix. Oh, okay. That's a different group. Okay. Uh, get in mix. trouble by saying that. Anyways, TG Petty's known for certain things, and we got yeah. into this argument of like very similar to uh, like the Twitter argument or the yeah. or the um, uh, devil's, devil's advocate, advocate yeah. argument, um, which actually kind of led into a thing that delayed this podcast. For, it really did for like an hour and a half. We started um, filming at like one thirty in the morning. Oh. Yeah. And I even had coffee, but I can definitely feel it kind of yeah. running out um, as I'm speaking right now. Professionalism on our podcast. We are always, always professional. Um, but to me, like, it, this was really like a, the next step evolution of DigiPetty. Mm. Because there are small amounts of things that, like, are like, okay, I can, I can sort of maybe see uh, that this is DigiPetty, mm -hmm. but it really felt like they were doing a totally different thing. Yeah, it's like when when Brave Sound produces for dudes, and it's like a totally different sound than what everyone kind of expects from Brave Sound, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because they're primarily known for the, their Groger stuff. So this was like n not super simplistic, mm -hmm. like sets, not bright ass colors, mm -hmm. not super pastel uh, 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 things. This was like it. Half of it really felt like. Like the troublemaker video, a little bit, yeah. Um, and then we were arguing about like how digi petty it, it was. was. Uh, so I think we what we can safely say is that I think a huge, huge difference between the digi petty we know and this music video, and why we kind of were surprised it was a digi petty video was uh, the lighting. Yeah, because uh, digi petty videos are normally very, very, very bright. Yeah. And this video was very, very, very kind of grungy. There's kind of a filter involved. And, you know. Well, he didn't seem out of character from Dean Solo videos. Mm -hmm. um, like the Half Moon and, yeah. and, and the other one. Yeah. Um, but it was DigiPetty. We're like, holy shit, this blew yeah, my... Like, nice. I know for most people, they wouldn't even care. Yeah. But, like, it really blew my mind. Um, yeah, for guys who watch, like, tons of, you know, K-pop music videos, it was... Yeah. And we know... Like a producer or a you know video director has a certain style, and all of a sudden they just are right. doing something really, really, really interesting. But but I think uh, the best part, the thing that does make this Digi Petty mm. is that while this is very similar to like the Troublemaker videos, the Troublemaker videos are just the generic K-pop video where it's like half a photo shoot. Mm. It kind doesn't like really. There's scenes. no real story, mm. right? You can kind of infer one, you can kind of make one up, but it's really just a photo shoot video, right? Um, but this one has that kind of digi petty flavor where there's like, there's this weird amount of character in what otherwise there is no character yeah. in a music video. Yeah, right? because this could have been a very bland music video, just yeah. like a guy and a girl. but Just posing, yeah. looking angry, yeah. look, but it's not. It's like they're having fun with each other. Yeah. There, there, there's a lot of uh, things that they do in the music video of fucking with each other. Mm -hmm. Like it, That part is really like, oh, okay, yeah. like, I, I can totally see. Uh, and... and that's what made this music video much, much, much better than I think yeah. like Shut Up and Groove and yeah. even Dean's solo yeah. stuff. It was fun. Yeah. Um, like when I found out that it was DigiPetty and I went back and watched it and I like tried to look at for like DigiPetty kind of marks. Yeah. Um, it, it did really show up to me in certain scenes where there was like a really big contrast in color. Mm -hmm. And DigiPetty, I think, really likes doing that, especially with like the characters versus the backdrop. Mm -hmm. Like the character itself will be like one kind of solid color and the backdrop will be another. Mm -hmm. And but this video is kind of different because there are two kind of characters. There's Dean and Hayes. But I felt like Dean kind of had a certain blue color to him and Hayes kind of had this like pink 
maroonish color to her. And it really kind of showed in the music video for me.